Wow. There's a cross boot all the way over there. Like, for real. Four swords in the reverse. Five of Pinnacles is here. And then King of Wands is here. Whoever this energy is, they didn't want you to lay something to rest with them. I don't know why I'm getting that with this Four of Swords being in the reverse. They don't want you to isolate yourself from them. They feel left out in the cold. Five of Pinnacles is here because this person is attracted to you. This person has a lot of passion and... um attraction towards you yeah three of wands is here and then six of cups and nine of wands yeah you had to went through something with this person over and over and over again in the past you isolated yourself from this person based off of decisions that they made and you made a decision to isolate yourself from this person. They didn't expect you to. And it's like this nine of wands being here. They they took you through something over and over and over again in the past. This person is dealing with abandonment issues from the past. And it's like this person is trying to keep you in the past and you had them gone. It's like you're, you, you, yeah, a six of swords. You distanced yourself and sailed away from this person and things that no longer serve purpose. And this could be, you know, people. It doesn't just have to be a person that you were in a relationship with. This could be people that you just distance yourself from. Could be relatives. It could be friends of yours. And um, they're sitting back nervous for whatever events that took place in the past. They're feeling guilty. Whatever decisions that they made. These are people that wanted attention from you with this King of Wands being here. And they figure they can do different stuff to try to, you know, low vibrational stuff to get your attention. And it didn't work. You distanced yourself from them and they didn't expect that. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles is here. Yeah. It's like when this Ten of Pentacles popped out, what I was thinking was that a person is getting too old. So it's like you were getting, you felt like that uh, the older you got, the more you wanted to evolve, prosper. And you weren't able to do that around this person or these people. So it's like you sailed away and you chose your Ten of Pentacles to connect with your ancestors and get different gifts and abundance that, you know, was passed down from your ancestors to you. Yeah, you chose that. You were in a never ending cycle with these people. You could have been going through some trauma from the past and you hadn't healed. And it's like once you distance yourself from these people or this person, you walked into your Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, the Tower card and Eight of Pentacles. You went through a drastic transformation and you changed yourself. You started working on yourself. You started building um, on your life, your future. Working on whatever businesses, you know, that you wanted to get to this Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, Ace of Wands is here. You started a whole new beginning for yourself. You took action towards whatever it is that you wanted out of life. Yeah, three of swords is here. A lot of people were sitting back depressed and heartbroken because you chose to work on yourself. You chose to mind your business and uh, take action towards whatever it is that you want out of life. Yeah, you would least expect that that would break somebody down and have them depressed. Yeah, it's just not okay. Three of Cups is here and then Five of Wands. These are people that were literally that you would, you know, connect with, go to gatherings or events with, or you would just um, meet up with people. Or these are people that were close to you. You expected these people to um, support you. And it's like they were secretly in competition with you. Five of Wands is here. Secretly trying to one up you. Secretly wanted to be you. Anything that you were doing, they were trying to do similar. They will go around their friends and they will secretly be in competition with you. Secretly talk about you in a negative way. And come around you and talk about these other people that you don't really know. 
this person, th these people got mad because they could not um, play in your energy anymore is what I'm getting. Yeah. You cut people off, you spoke the truth to them, they no longer serve purpose in your life and they couldn't stand it. Yeah, they cannot stand the way who you are as a person. Someone that's very intelligent, someone that's very wise. These are people that looked up to you, but they did not want you to know. These are people that called you for everything. They knew that you would know. But these are people that downplayed you. These are people that talked about you in a negative way. And it's like once you hadn't cut your, cut your, you know, spoke the truth to people and isolated yourself from people, you weren't in harmony mode. You weren't around anyone. These are people that could not play in your energy. These are people that were draining. And these are people that you would be loyal to. As I said, these people looked up to you. You inspired these people, but they didn't want you to know. These are people that were secretly trying to get on your level, secretly competing with you, secretly trying to copy you. Yeah, people that were close. Yeah, it's like these people sabotage their self. Five of uh, swords being here. They thought they had them backstabbed. You didn't know they would be walking away at the three of swords heart broke. Yeah, they thought they sabotaged you. They didn't do nothing but sabotage the connection. You were the only one that was loyal to these people or this person. And the lovers is here. You're the type of person that show unconditional love to people. And that's why these people, they didn't expect you to just put them out in the cold. They didn't expect for you to, you know, find out that they were at the five of wands, secretly jealous of you, secretly trying to compete with you, secretly trying to copy you, send conflict, you trying to one up you. Yeah, nine of cups and page of pentacles. You started focusing on yourself and you were more happy and content by yourself. Nine of cups, wish fulfillment. You started researching new things with this page of pentacles and looking at life a whole new way. Yeah, and manifesting people that, you know, that are like you with this lover's card being here. It's like you know your worth and you were going to, you know, you were not going to continue to be around people that did not match your energy, match your effort, any of that. And it's like, um, these are people that didn't want you to see your worth. They seen it, but they wanted to, you know, secretly try to send conflict to you or secretly compete with you. Yeah. Food card and the hangman is here. Yeah, these are people that got stuck. When you went into another direction, they ended up getting stuck in this hangman position. But you walked towards a whole other direction. You started walking in your calling and in your purpose. Stuff that you're destined to do here on earth. Yeah, you're someone that's a healer. You're a star. You're someone that's um, spiritually um, protected. You're someone that's awakened. You're someone that had balanced out. You were sent here to help people balance their self out, help people heal. It's like you were the star around these people. You were someone that was always motivating them, helping them, encouraging them, trying to teach these people. And um, they didn't want, you know, they wanted to downplay you. So you went towards your calling. The fool card and then the star card being here by yourself. You took a risk by yourself as you were around a whole bunch of people that did not want you to see your worth. So once you went out there by yourself, you started attracting a lot of attention. Now a lot of people respect you. They look up to you with the star card being here. Because you took a leap of faith towards whatever it is that you wanted out of life, new ventures in life. Your calling and in your purpose. A lot of people feel stuck. Yeah, eight of swords on the bottom of the deck. A lot of people feel stuck. Because you went towards a whole nother direction. Yeah, and that's the truth. Ace of Swords, clarity. These are people that could have seen you, you know, working on something, a business or an idea or something. And they started competing with that. And it's like they didn't know which, what your calling, what your purpose was. You're someone that's destined for success. 
It's like you can multitask whatever it is that you want to do. You take action towards whatever it is. So whatever they thought you were just working on, oh, this person is doing that, I can do that. They don't know what you're, you know, what are you going to do next is what I'm hearing. As this King of Wands popped up, you're someone that's very mysterious. They don't know what to expect. Ace of Cups is here. Yeah, you took the time and started loving yourself, taking care of yourself, and finally showing yourself some love and not even worrying about other people. You had took too much time sitting back worried about people, trying to help people that do not want to be helped. So it's like, why not take a leap of faith towards another direction? And you start getting attention and attracting attention, you know, elsewhere. Helping other people. Working on yourself. Building on yourself. And these are people that are sitting back, you know, now they don't want to let a situation to rest and it's already been done. Yeah, the sun card is here and four cups is here. These are people that feel rejected because they ended up getting exposed. Their insecurities got exposed. They're unhappy about whatever they, you know, did because you're happy. They wanted you to be in this four cups energy and they, them being, in, um, you know, happy and content. But it's like they're, they're at the four cups because whatever they tried to do, it was rejected. You're happy. It's like when you're happy with yourself, no one else can take that from you. These are people that wanted to project their energy off onto you. Because they were dealing with insecurities. They felt rejected. They were unhappy about their life. So they thought if they projected off on you, then you would be unhappy. You would feel rejected. You would be stuck. You wouldn't be able to take a leap of faith towards your calling, your purpose, or whatever it is that you wanted to do in life. Yeah, Ten of Wands is here. These are people that at the Ten of Wands, they're, they, they're weighed down pressured and burdened a lot of stuff in their face that they cannot see and a lot of stuff on their back that they cannot weigh this is what they wanted for you it's like they sat back as everything was being rejected that they tried to send at you and racked up karma that they didn't even know these are people that slowed their self down yeah two of wands in the reverse these are people that literally slowed their self down nine of pentacles is here trying to distract you and they had to distract their self as you at the two of wands in the reverse not at a stalemate. You know which way to go. King of Cups is here. And Two of Swords is here. Yeah, the Strength card is here. So it's like, yeah, this could be you and this King of Cups energy. Someone that's very emotionally balanced. Someone that, you know, chose yourself. As I said, start loving yourself, taking care of yourself, finally showing yourself some love. And um, people wanted you to be blinded. They were trying to constantly blindfold you. As the King of Cups is someone that's very intuitive, they were trying to blind your intuition. They wanted to block off whatever... Um, whatever messages that you would get from your intuition, they wanted to block it off. And it's like whatever they did to try to blind you from the truth, to have you confused where you want, you know, be able to see properly, it made you grow. It gave you strength. Yeah. And then the high priestess is here. Five of Cups. <laughs> so this high priestess, whatever this is that's hidden, somebody is in regret. This could be somebody that's attracted to you or they're in regret because you're attracting a lot of attention with this Queen of Wands and Five of Cups. This person wanted you to be in regret because you attracted a lot of attention. You stood up in your own confidence, leading your own life, being a hustler, chasing after whatever it is you want out of life, being more goal-oriented, multitasking, focusing on yourself and chasing after it. This person wanted you to be in regret, and now they're at the Five of Cups in regret, ashamed, embarrassed. You could have started learning more about spirituality and start, you know, trying to let other people know what was going on around them. Now they're all in regret. As you haven't spoke truth and clarity to people, Ace of Swords. 
on stuff that they did not know that was hidden to them. Two of Pentacles. And Six of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, these are people that were set back and thought that they were going to juggle you, go back and forth between you and somebody else or just different people talking about you in a negative way, trying to make you look bad. They didn't have no success. These are people that, that don't even have victory over their self. They don't have no success over their self. These are people that are no longer, you know, being held in high honor. People don't even respect them no more. And they're pissed off. Knight of Swords is here. They're angry because they're not getting attention. They're not the center of attention. They want people to put them on a pedestal and see them in certain lights that are not their own. That's why they ran around here and lied and spread rumors about you. Because they felt left out in the cold. They could no longer come and play in your energy. Yeah, Seven of Swords is here, Queen of Pentacles is here, and Queen of Cups. These are people that thought they were going to, you know, take your kindness for weakness. You're someone that's very kind hearted, someone that's very loving. You pour out love to people, but you're also someone that's very intuitive. So as these people were at the seven of swords being very sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes, thinking that they were going to get away with something, they got caught up at the eight of swords and they feel stuck. Everything was rejected. They're left to deal with their own insecurities. Yeah, the unknown card is here, and then King of Swords. And then the Devil. Yeah, so this part is somebody that, that could be, um, whoever this King of Swords is, is somebody that is unknown to you. You don't know this person. This person is someone that's very obsessed. This is someone that is very, um, they could have addictions or deep, dark secrets. Something like that. And then four of wands is being here. This person is obsessed. And um, this could be someone that uh, knows about you and your twin. This is someone that's very toxic. They don't want you to know that they're obsessed over you. This could be your twin. Yeah, this is someone that's obsessed over you. And they don't want you to know. Yeah, this person is, they, they don't want you to know. King of Swords is here. And then an unknown card. Four of Wands is here. This person found out that you and them were twins and they have been behind the scenes watching you. This person is obsessed over you. This person is obsessed over wanting to collaborate with you, Three of Pentacles. They want to build something with you. Yeah. Yeah. Then the Empress is here, and then Tempers is here. Yeah, they want to build something with you, and they want to balance. They want to have harmony with you. This person wants to have a relationship with you. With this Empress being here, this person could be, uh, <clears throat> it doesn't resonate for everyone. This could be someone that want to have kids with you. Or they just want to build with you. They want to build an empire with you. They can see their self um, getting old with you, things like that. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is here. This is somebody that found out that you and them um, were destined to do things together. It was destined and fated for you and them to meet each other. Yeah, Ten of Cups is here. This person looks at you as their ultimate happiness and they um, this person is in love with you. They want to have a future with you. They want to build a family with you. But they're hiding this. Yeah, the chariot is here. It's like you could have moved on from this person. Yeah. You moved on from this person. You're on the chariot. It's like after gaining truth and clarity, you move forward. Yeah, you just moved on. Especially after you went through whatever you had to went through. And it's like this person found out that you were their twin. And they're secretly like, they don't want you to know that they're obsessed with you. They want to build something with you. They want to have a life with you. They don't want you to know. Yeah, Two of Cups is here. 
This person wants to partner up with you, work with you, and um, exchange cups with you. But it's like they don't want you to know. Yeah, Page of Wands and then Knight of Wands. The moon card is here. And then the moon card. Yeah, this person could be trying to... This person could be trying to manifest you, uh, like, in a sexual way. Yeah, because this person is secretly admiring you. This person is at the Page of Cups. They're, um... It could be immature. This is somebody that, um... They don't know how to express the way they feel about you. So they could be trying to do it through sex. Or trying to, you know, get you to be intimate with them or something like that. Yeah, this is what's slowing this person down. Knight of Pentacles is here. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. And then the Death card is here. Whatever this person is doing is just coming back on them with the Six of Pentacles being here. Equal give and take. With this death card being here, this person is going through going through this because they need to uh, transform. They need to put an end to whatever they're doing. Because it's slowing them down. Yeah. Page of Swords. And then the Emperor is here. Yeah, this person has been watching you. They know who you are to them. This person was sitting back watching you because they needed to mature. And they possibly didn't even know that's how it was supposed to go. Yeah, it was fated for this person to meet you, to run across you, to watch you. As I say, you're someone that, you know, had got spiritually awake. So this person possibly didn't even know anything about spirituality. And they needed to mature, stand up and know their worth and take control of their energy because they were confused. But this person ended up maturing as they were sitting back, you know, at the page of swords watching you, observing you. They needed to go through this death card and transform and go through a rebirth. 